We are living in the world of hate where racism still exists. They said that black lives matter, but apparently it doesn't. We can't even walk to the store just to grab a snack, like Trayvon Martin sell CDs from the trunk of his own car, Elton Sterling selling cigarettes, Eric Garner listening to loud music with his friends, Jordan Davis playing in the park, Tamar Rice, or even hanging with your boys without being targeted on New Year's. Oscar Grant, when they say that our lives matter, do you really think they're trying to prove to themselves that our lives really do matter? It seems like they're basically lying to themselves because they know that black lives really don't matter. I'm afraid now to this day to even get pulled over by the cops because the first thing they're going to see is color. Do our lives really matter? I mean, to think back in the day where Martin Luther King marched for us and, and Rosa Parks sat on that very first seat on the bus because she didn't want to get up because she was too tired. She knew that, yo, <laughs> my life mattered too and I'm about to sit right here. So why to this day we are not accepted? What do we have to do to prove to these people that we are here and we want to be accepted too. So when they say that black lives matter, do they really matter? Because it seems like our lives don't matter. I want everybody to believe that and to feel that our lives matter because I don't want to keep saying that my life matter and I can't even walk to the store or, or hang out with a friend without being targeted because of the color of my skin. I want to be accepted. And it's time for African Americans to finally be accepted. And these people got to deal with it because black lives do matter.